gaining knowledge and learning new things. A year worth of remarkable memories, challenges, and opportunities. And we are all gathered here today to celebrate those achievements. The trials and triumphs and hardship that our students is really worth celebrating since another chapter of their academic life has come to a close. A blessed morning to everyone. Today, ladies and gentlemen, mark another milestone in our life and in the history of our Good Tree International School as we gather and celebrate success on this recognition rights. Welcome, Welcome to the Recognition Day program of Good Tree International School with the team of K-12 graduates pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity. And now, to formally start today's event with so much cheer, let us have the processional. Ladies and gentlemen, the entrance of colors.
Sir Miss Mary Monina Joycey Garcia.
Once again, good morning, everyone. Truly that we offer this pertinent occasion to God Almighty. I do believe that we rejoice because He has made this event possible through His grace, guidance, and love. So everyone, to all of the parents, guardians, teachers, faculty, staff, and even the students, may I request all of you to please all stand for us to do or to have our doxology to be led by our selected grade 9 students, followed by our Philippine National Anthem to be conducted by Ms. Pao Ann Mosso. Again, please all stand. Kids, let us all stand. Everybody. Okay, all of the princess and the prince, please all stand. Good job. Very good. Now revealed in you are 
for the statement of the pledges. May I request Baron Z. Araraka from kindergarten to state the patriotic pledge, followed by Teya Claro Bad from grade one to state the pledge of the Filipino flag. Again, let's have our Philippine national anthem to be conducted by Ms. Fauan Mosso. Kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Patriotic Pledge. I belong of the Philippines. This is the land of my birth. It is the home of my people. It protects me and helps me to be healthy, happy, and useful. In return, I will heed the counsel of my parents. I will be the rules of my school. I will perform the duties of a law abiding citizen. I'll be a true Filipino in that in world and a deed. Let us raise our right hand and together let's take the pledge to the Philippine flag. Pledge to the Philippine flag. I am a Filipino. I sincerely pledge my allegiance to the Philippine flag and to the country it represents with honor, justice, and freedom. 
exercised by a godly people who are nature-loving, human, and patriotic. Pledge to the Christian flag. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom we stand, one Savior crucified, we send, come again with life and liberty for those who believe. Pledge to the Bible. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it the lamp into my feet and the light into my path. In return, I will hid each word in my heart that I might not sin against God. You may now all be seated. To our school director, Reverend David Chong. To our highly competent head teacher, Ms. Kaiselyn Domingo. To our big-hearted guest speaker. To our dedicated faculty and staffs. To our hard-working pastor, Pastor Christian Medonsa and Pastor Adrian Arabejo. To our supportive and loving parents. And to our diligent and persistent students. Guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am Miss Anne Lozada, and I am Miss Noelin Solano, and we, we are the masters of the ceremony for today's event. You know, it's always a pleasure to have families and friends celebrating with us and welcoming you here for today's event. Truly, that it's definitely meaningful as well as we honor and celebrate the students' achievements. Yes, that's right, Ma'am Ann. So to give us a wonder wonderful welcoming address, may we call on our dynamic assistant school director, Sir Fei Chong. Let's give him a round of applause. Good morning. Uh, good morning, kids. Hi. Uh, hello, parents. Hello. Uh, you see the energy is kind of low. Uh, dear graduates of our kinder and those who are going to the next level, grade two, grade three, and grade four, congratulations to all of you. Congratulations to your parents. And especially, congratulations to all of us. Can we give a clap to our Lord? Uh, I'm sure you missed your school and uh, right now we are very grateful that we are given the opportunity to have our face-to-face -face graduation and moving up and recognition day. And I know it was very hard for you to have your online classes and always you are wearing, we have to be wearing our mask and some of us were very fortunate to be given the COVID vaccination. Today, uh, we, are, we are given another opportunity to be uh, giving thanks to our parents, to our teachers, and especially to our Lord. Uh, always remember that grades are important, but having good social communication with your friends, having to know how to forgive others is very important. And I am very proud of our GTIS students because you are very filled with love, with kindness, and perseverance. Uh, be proud of yourselves students and don't forget to say thank you mama thank you papa after this time and also to our school and our teachers because you have been given a beautiful opportunity to study in this wonderful school congratulations to all of you and all your achievements today thank you Thank you so much, Survey. 
for the empowering words you have shared. To continue this program, may I ask the presence of our head teacher, Ms. Casey Lynn Domingo, for the presentation of graduates, and Reverend David Jong for the confirmation of graduates. Good morning once again. It's nice to see your beautiful and bright faces, my dear students and our dear parents, guests and visitors. Um, I have the honor to present to you the 20 candidates for graduation this school year 2021-2022. Starting from the pre-kinder class composed of three boys and two girls. From kinder class, composed of seven boys and eight girls. May I request our school director, Reverend David Jong, to certify the promotion and completion of the requirements of these candidates. By the authority vested in me as a representative of the Department of Education, you have completed the basic requirement of prescribed by the Department of Education under the K-12 basic education curriculum. Now I confirm you graduate for school year 2021-2022. Congratulations. All right, thank you, Reverend David Jung and Ms. Caseline Domingo. This time, let us have our um, giving of certificates, okay? May I request uh, Ms. Monique to assist um, her students. Present to you the graduates of Kinder Pupils. Araraka Baron Mandy Z. Felipe John Kenneth M. Garcia Joshua. J. 
Gonzaga Kalex Malcolm V. Miram Alden Wade M. Ong Owen Craig N. And Oro Kairos Anderson B. Congratulations, pre-kinder and kindergarten students. Are you happy to receive that certificate? Yes? If yes, can you clap? Oh, very good. This time, to give us an encouraging and inspiring words, let us hear it from one of our cutest and smartest students from kinder class. May I call on Florence Faith V. Ugay to give us this encouraging word. Let us give her a big round of applause. The management of Gucci International School, Reverend David Jung, teachers, parents, housemates, and schoolmates. Good morning. Today is one of the most momentous days for all of us, most especially to our parents who are always there exerting all their efforts for us to learn. They woke up early in the morning preparing things while we're still lying in bed. To our teachers, thank you for molding our minds for a better future. We treasure all your efforts, and we will not forget everything you share to us. But all this are just the beginning. Next year will come another challenge to face for a higher level of learning. To our classmates, thank you for the clean time we share during classes, even though it was only virtual meeting. I just hope that we will meet face to face in next school year. Thank you. And to God be the highest glory. All right, let's give a big clap to Faith. Thank you, Faith. That's really encouraging. Are you agree, my dear students? 
<laughs> okay. So, um, to continue with this one, we would like to call our head teacher, Ms. Casey Lynn Domingo, to introduce our guest speaker for today's program. Once again, I am here to present to you our guest. It's my honor and privilege to introduce to you our guest speaker. Um, she is an empowered, stunning, beautiful, and bright speaker. And uh, she really uh, is an approachable one and supportive, just like the parents and our staff here in Good Tree. During her studies, she finished her bachelor's degree as cum laude. She, take, she took up Bachelor of Arts in Communication. Her secondary education is in Brightways Academy, and she has the title as class valedictorian. Her work experiences revolves around advising people. She experienced teaching the elementary student at Academia Primera at Imus Cavite. Also has uh, an experience first semester instructor at Tagaytay City College. Her skills and intelligence continue to level up as she became senior sales and service representative at Philippine Airlines. She also has this experience as bank assurance sales executive at BPI Pilam Life Insurance Corporation. Presently working as a licensed financial planner for eight years at Financial Life Insurance Corporation. Please join me in welcoming our guest speaker for today, Ms. Karen Saramines. Let's give her a round of applause. Good morning! Ay, wala akong kausap. Do I... Do... Do... May mga tao ba dito? Yan, good morning! It's very nice to see beautiful faces. Can you look at the person right beside you on the left? Is he or she beautiful? Yes, how about on the right? Yes. All right. So, before I begin, I would like to honor first, of course, uh, God for giving us this opportunity to be here in this place. Nakakamis po mag face to face, right? No? So, God, we thank you for this wonderful opportunity to be together, of course, to live a life of significance. Also, I would like to honor the Good Tree School, International Schools. Administrators, educators, teachers, staff, for all your dedication in nurturing these young and cute no, kids who are our soon-to-be leaders, diba? In the future, we, we wouldn't know. They could be our leaders and also professionals. And of course, I would like to also honor all the parents here, thank you for your heartwarming and overwhelming support to these kids. And of course, hello kids. I would like to honor all of you for being here and for doing a great job for this year. Can you give yourself a round of applause? Yes. Isang great job nga dyan. Isang good job nga dyan. Good job. Yes, good job. When I was a kid, uh, about three or four years old, uh, someone asked me, what do you want to be when you grow up? You know what my answer is? With whole confidence, I said, I want to be an astronaut. Who wants to be an astronaut here? Wala. Ayun, I saw someone. Huh? I want to be an astronaut. You know what? My elders just laughed at me. And I was wondering, what was funny about that? Isn't it cool? Isn't it really amazing to be just floating in the space and see the earth from afar? Isn't it cool? Yes, it is, right? But, you know where I get that idea? 
I got that idea from the coloring book my mom just got me when I was three or four years old. But when I reached preschool, no, yeah, mga kinder, my teacher asked me once again, what do you want to be when you grow up? So my answer changed. Now I want to be an office girl. Somebody who wants to be an office girl or on, ayan, a young professional, an office professional, yan. Why do you want to be like that? My reason is that I just want to look like mom who wear heels, nice dress, and handle a good, and hold a good bag. Sabi ko, I want to be like my mom. But you know what? When I went, when I uh, grew up to be an elementary student, a grade schooler like this, no? the same question was asked to me. Sabi, what do you want to be when you grow up? Sabi ko, paulit-ulit naman sila ng tanong. Why is it they keep on repeating the same question? But here I am. I said, now this time, I'm sure, I want to be a teacher. Who wants to be a teacher here? Yun, oh. You see, teachers, we have future educators here. <laughs> Congratulations. And some here. You know what? When I was in elementary, I used to be elected as the class president. And whenever my teacher uh, attend a school teacher's meeting, I will be the one who will stand up and take over the class. It's either I will lead my classmates into reading or we will just answer a worksheet from our textbook. So I thought, wow, the, being a teacher is just, is just fit for me. But here it is. It's now high school. Who is excited to be in high school? Are you excited? Oh, wag maging excited. Oh, dahan-dahan lang. So when I went into high school, we have this, um, what you call, technical drawing subject. And in this subject, I really love drawing objects. We are measuring things. Meron bang may gusto nun dito? Do you want drawings? Or you want, yan, designing houses? You want buildings? Yan. Yun, I said, wow, this time, I wanted to be an architect. So graduating from high school, I was a scholar back then. So sabi ko, I want to be an, uh, an architect. So that time when I was enrolling at De La Salle University, I looked at the building. Wow, this building isn't really impressive. Bakit? Luma na? Ayoko dito mag-school. Luma na building ng architecture. Plus, my classmates are almost boys. And I am a shy type. Mahiyaing tao po si Miss Ken. So, I said, no, I will shift. This time, I will enroll for AB Communication course. You know what an AB communication does? No? Do you, do you see anchors, news anchors in the television? Yan, someone, no? Yung nagbabalita, yan. I wanted to be that girl on the television being a news anchor because I said, wow, I think I have this ability or skill to write and I think I can contribute in this industry. Guess what? I finished college through a scholarship as well, no? by God's grace. And then I got my on-the-job training at GMA Kapuso. You know GMA Kapuso? Kapamilya? No, Kapuso pala. Iba pala yung Kapamilya. Yeah, nanonood ng TV si Kuya. I got my on-the-job training there. And you know what? When I saw the employees, almost no sleep. I saw them working overtime, and they almost uh, slept at their, you know, uh, cabins. They're not going home for the work. Ang sabi ko, it's not the work for me. I'm not ready for this kind of job. So now, what am I doing? I am now a financial advisor and also a motivational speaker because I thought 
wow, this is something that I love to do. But before this, I had so many experiences. I was a secretary, I was an airline employee, I was a teacher, I was a professor. So, what, why am I sharing all of these things? Because Ate Ken or Miss Ken somehow got lost and I really don't know what I want to be when I grow up. Hello, kids! Do you want to be, do you know what you want to be when you grow up? Yes? That's good for you. Because me back then, I don't know what I want and I don't know what dream should I pursue. There's only one thing that I didn't pursue or didn't enter. That is the medical industry. Anyone here who wants to be a doctor? Nurse? Wow, so brave! I'm not so brave as you because I am afraid of blood. <laughs> My mom actually wanted me to be a doctor, but I said, Mom, please, anything but not doctor. And she rested her case. So now, what am I trying to say? For those kids who don't want yet, who don't know yet your dream when you, when you are older, no? it's okay. There's no need to feel the pressure there's no need to run fast because you need to enjoy the now. And somehow, along the way, me, I forgot to enjoy my childhood days that much. Why? Because I'm living on that kind of pressure. I was a scholar from elementary, high school, until college, and I need to maintain that kind of grade to sustain my studies. So you are very privileged that you are here. You are, you know, uh, studying in a very prestigious international school that nobody or not everybody has having that kind of privilege. So be thankful. Have you thanked your parents for that? Can you give a clap for your parents? Yeah. We acknowledge the, pre the parents for working so hard so that they can send you to a good and prestigious school. So, after graduation, so that's uh, my story. But uh, for you kids who know exactly what you want to be, congratulations. Because clarity in that age, no, is not really so. Uh, it, it's rare, no. Hindi hindi siya sa lahat, no. It's not everybody that they are very clear of what they want to be. And along the way, it will be not so smooth. There will be times that you will get discouraged. There will be times that you will be doubting yourself if you can. But let me encourage you this morning that indeed you can. My classmates uh, call me Ken, that is my nickname. And also, that is my daily reminder that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That is from Philippians 4.16. Can you give yourself a hug? Paano yon? Can you hug yourself? Yan. And say to yourself, I can. I can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Because everything, if we do it with all our heart and we dedicate it and surrender it to the Lord, then we know that we can do all things by His grace. And so, before I end this speech, I would like to address the parents here. All our sacrifices for our kids, all those uh, sleepless nights, those nights that we were crying. So... Secretly, when everybody else is sleeping, God sees. All those sacrifices will soon pay up. So no matter what this future will bring, let us be our kids' number one fan. Can we, can we do that for them? Can we support them all the way, no matter who they want to be? If they want to be an engineer, a doctor, or a, or a teacher or whatever that is. Can we support them? Can we give our 100% support to our kids? Yes? 
Yes from the parents? Yes. And also, let us be committed in raising God-fearing, loving, respectful, and obedient kids because they are God's gift and it is our responsibility to guide them in the love and knowledge of God. And so, as I end, again to these amazing kids, pwede bang makiusap si Miss Ken sa inyo? Pwede bang galingan natin? Galingan mo para sa sarili mo? Galingan mo para sa Panginoon? Galingan mo para sa magulang mo? At galingan mo para sa Pilipinas? Pwede ba yon? Yes. And so, this is my last uh, reminder and message for everyone. Be the greatest and grandest version of yourself. All for God's glory. So thank you and God bless you all. Once again, thank you so much to our very beautiful guest speaker for today, Miss Ken Saramines. Let us give her a big round of applause. Right. Now, who's hungry? Who wants to eat watermelon? How about who wants to eat papaya? Ah, how about banana? All right, if you are hungry, later we're gonna eat a watermelon. Watermelon. What's next? Papaya, papaya, and banana, 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 banana. What's next? Fruit salad. All right. Later, we're gonna eat food. But first, to continue the program, let us have the giving of certificate to our special guest speaker because truly that the presence of our guest of honor or rather should I say guest speaker makes the occasion more significant and memorable. By her words of wisdom, we can able to get ideas that will help us to progress. Do you agree on that? Ma yes, I agree with it, ma'am. Allow me to go... Allow me to read the content. Republic of the Philippines Department of Education, Region 4A, Division of Cavite. Good Tree International School Incorporation, her Y awarded certificate of appreciation to Karen Saramines for dedicated service as a guest speaker in 22nd Moving Up and Recognition Day. With a team K-12 graduates pursuing dreams and fostering resilience in the face of adversity. Given the 11th day of May in the year of the Lord 2022, signed by Ms. Caseline C. Domingo, our head teacher, and Reverend David Jong, our school director. program let us witness an intermission number from uh, two of our talented students from grade three honesty yes grade three honesty let's give up for eliza rian lopez and christopher hunter sariga
so small and I see your true so much for making this program more entertaining. Are you agree with that, kids? Did you entertain? Yeah. <laughs> and to continue this program, I know the students and even the parents, guardian, and our special guests are very excited for the awarding. But before we proceed to that part, we would like to call once again Ms. Casey Lynn Domingo for some announcement. Hello again, dear parents and students. So we have here our schedule for the releasing of card. It will be given on June 15. For the start of school year 2022-2023, it will be on August 15. You may enroll. A true online or walk in here in our school. For online, you may visit www.enroll.mygtis.com. We are also currently having our reservation. Just uh, visit the office or transact online as well. First come, first serve basis. For the learning modality that we will be having for the school year 2022-2023, that will be a hybrid composing of face-to-face -face and online. There is an example there on screen. Uh, for example, the total students enrolled, 32, that the maximum students for face-to-face -face will be 16. So the students will be divided into groups, group A and group B. In the illustration, you will see there the sample schedule for grade 7. We have Monday face-to-face, -face, Tuesday online, Wednesday online, Thursday face-to-face, -face, Friday online. Currently, we have discount promo for this school year. Early bird discount amounts to 1000 Till June 2, 2022, you may avail it, so you can have less 1000 tuition fee. For the fees, you may also visit www.enroll.mygtis.com slash fees so you may know the tuition fee amount. We also offer study more plan, a one-on-one -on -one tutorial, one hour per day, and it is 3000 monthly. In one-on-one -on -one tutorial, the teacher there will assist your children with their homeworks, their projects, their review, and all throughout the school year, assisting your students and helping them with their uh, education matters. Good news, no additional fee of 15,000 for the online tuition fee. No more, uh, my dear parents. So be it face-to-face -face or online, the tuition fee is the same. We also have sibling discount, 5% off for the second child, 10% off third child, 15% off 
for the fourth child. We also offering summer classes, and this will start on May 30 till July 7. So for the first um, summer class, we are offering English, Math, and Science. One teacher, six students. This amounts to 6,000. And another private summer class, it's worth 3,000. One teacher, two students per subject. If you have questions regarding this, you may visit us, walk in in the office for more information. Still, we have referral discount. And this discount, you can have a less 1,000 tuition fee if that student you have referred enrolled here in our school. For the transactions, you may look for Ms. Frenchild Cañete, our school registrar. Her picture is on screen, so you may approach her. We also have online banking for transactions. Here are the details for the bank name, account name, and for easy transaction, how to do it, online banking. You may also visit the link, www.mygtis.com slash gcash. For online enrollment portal, as well, you may look at the screen, enroll.mygtis.com. You may also contact us through this number, sir 917 or email at us at info at mygtis.com. So please, reserve your slot. First come, first serve. There are many inquiries and already enrolling for this coming school year 22-2023. That will be all for me. Thank you, ma'am. Once again, thank you, Miss Kaiselyn Domingo. Today, not everybody make it to the top, but I do believe that we, especially our hardworking students, deserve to receive the fruit of their labor. You're absolutely right, Ma'am Ann. All right. So while the kids or the students are falling in right, uh, falling in line in the aisle, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let us proceed to the awarding ceremony. The students will receive the awards based on the following distinctions. For the gold medalist, students must have a general average of 95% and above, must obtain a grade of 85% in all subjects, including the character grade in every quarter, and must attend all school activities. For our silver medalist, they must have a general average of 93 to 94%, must obtain a grade of 85% in all subjects, including character grade, in every quarter, and must attend to all school activities. For the bronze medalist, students must have a general average of 90% to 92%, must obtain a grade of 85% in all subjects, including character grade in every quarter, and must attend all school activities. For our academic achievers, they must obtain a grade of 82% in all subjects, including character grade, in every quarter, and also they must have a general average of 87 to 89%. While the Director's Award have the highest general average in the class. We also have our Meritorious Awardees. Um, um, this award is to be awarded to the student who possess the most outstanding values or skill in the class. We also have special award. It is awarded to the students who exhibit the most competent skills in the class. Award as the palos. We have people, people smart, nature smart, body smart, picture smart, music smart, and self smart. For our ach achievement award, uh, this is an award to the student who excels in the quarterly extracurricular activities. We also have Book Day Award. It is awarded to the students who excel in the Book Day celebration. And this time to award the Conducts Medal for Academic Excellence Award, Honor Students and Special Awards, may I call on the respective advisors of our dear students to present the award starting with the advisor of our pre-kinder and kindergarten students. May I call Ms. Monica Velasencio Nio.
thank you, Ma'am Anne and Ma'am Noelin. I am proud to present to you the awardees of Pre-Kinder Pupils. Gold Medalist, the Guzman Hamish B. He will also receive Best in Science and he is a Music Smart. Another gold medalist, Toreno Prince Zion V. He is also body smart and most participative.
Allow me to introduce to you the awardees from Grade 1 Hope, Hubert Adriel Zusain S. She is an achiever and the most needed clean in the class. Kim Juntek F. He is a bronze medalist and the most enthusiastic in the class. Rababo Sakari Sanjay. He is a silver medalist and the most polite in the class. Woodward Tyrus James D. He is a silver medalist and the most friendly in the class. and the most sociable in the class. He is 
is a gold medalist and a People's Smart Awardee. Andaya Caitlin Kainasi. She is a gold medalist and the most obedient in the class.
of Ray Tulo. Starting with Pakana Isaiah. He is a bronze medalist and the most motivated in the class. Barcinal Carlin Ronil B. He is silver medalist and the most cheerful in the class. Bayot Matthew P. He is silver medalist and the most energetic in the class. He will also receive an achievement award certificate. Reyes Kai Alessandri, she is a silver medalist, most sociable in the class and achievement awardee. Adriel Joshan A. He is a gold medalist and the most behaved in the class. Bukot Adriel Joshan A. He is a gold medalist and the most behaved in the class. Limakosa Dustin R. He is a gold medalist and the most improved in the class. Espiritu Zoran P. He is gold medalist and the picture smart worthy. Ferrer Dirk Marcus S. Gold medalist. He is the most diligent in the class. Lee Dongju M. He is a gold medalist and most determined in the class. Toledo A. Cedric A. He is a gold medalist, most dependable, and he will receive an Achievement Award certificate.
a body smart and she will also receive an achievement award the certificate. Bautista George Jasmine J.R. She is a gold medalist and the most organized in the class. Kaina Arian Jules P. She is a gold medalist and a people smart. Chan Yuna Isabel A. She is a gold medalist, best in English, best in math, self smart awardee. And she will receive an achievement award the Director's Choice Certificate. <laughs> David Rene, Rene Samantha V. She is a gold medalist and the most artistic in the class. Geta Candice Amory C. She is a gold medalist and most helpful in the class. Makatangay Maria Sharin D. She is a gold medalist, most inquisitive in the class, and a book day awardee. Ong Olivia Courtney M. She is a gold medalist, music smart, and a book day awardee. And lastly, Ramos Yesha Yvonne S. Gold medalist, nature smart, and achievement awardee. Congratulations, my dear students. Continue this attitude and reach your goal. And now, to present, and may I call on the advisor of Great G Honesty, Ms. Fawan Mozo, to present the awardee, the awards of the students. It is a great honor to present to you the awardees of Grade 3 NST. To start with, let's welcome the bronze medalist, Ramirez Kyle Elias A. Bronze medalist and most respectful. To be followed by Loyola Elijah Rain, bronze medalist, most determined.
silver medalist, most dependable. Okay po. Once again, Jimenez Sky, Siegfried B. Next, Pamero and Nigel George C. Silver medalist, most enthusiastic. Pamero. Next is Sarigan Christopher Hunter E. Silver medalist, nature smart and achievement awarded. Glerigo Arian J, Silver Medalist, Picture Smart. Sibuera Jari Briel J, Silver Medalist, Most Cooperative. Gold Medalist, Javier Harney Josh A. Most Discipline and Gold Medalist. Ne Miram Axel Clive M. Gold Medalist and Body Smart Awardee. Sarai Adriel Isaac D. Gold Medalist, People Smart and Achievement Awardee. Tanya Dylan Maverick L. Gold Medalist, Most Creative and Achievement Billiamin Kairos Akim R, gold medalist, most active and self smart awardee.
Director's Choice Awardee. But not the least, Lopez Eliza Rien D. Gold Medalist, Best in English, Best in Science, Most Responsible, Book Day Awardee, and Achievement Awardee. Congratulations, Grade 3 students. Congratulations also to our dear parents for we know that you are happy and proud for the achievements of your children. Once again, congratulations students and parents this time to sing the graduation song of the kindergarten. Let us hear it from our energetic kindergarten pupils. They may come here in the stage together with their advisor. Let us give a big round of applause to our pre-kinder and kinder kindergarten graduates.
that's a meeting. What a cute performance by our little star. Thank, you, Thank so you so much for that fantastic performance. Once again, let us give them a big round of applause. You know, I do believe that the secret behind a significant event is not only the teachers who have rendered their invaluable service by guiding the students to the right path, but also the parents who give their support financially and wholeheartedly to their children. And we will have first a class picture for the kindergarten and... Once again, I'm... I'm All right, kids, for the pre-kinder and kindergarten, may I uh, call you once again to come up here in the stage for your pictorial. Let's take a picture first. So ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the parents here, let us, all, let us all welcome and listen to one of the proud parents of Kudri International School, Mrs. Rachel May Gamboa, grade 3 parent, to give her thanksgiving message. Let, let us give her a round of applause. Once again, may I ask the presence of Mrs. Rachel May Gamboa. morning to everyone to all of uh, to all of us who are present here today i am mrs gamboa and i would like to give my sincerest gratitude i have the urge to pinch myself for this moment seems unbelievable years are passing by pandemic comes and i have toiled relentlessly and waited for this opportunity to see my daughter and our fellow students teachers and everyone who is here today. I am speaking with joy and speaking continually, almost ranting my heart to the audience. But today, I am at a loss of words. This moment seems so elusive that I now fail to fathom how it makes me feel. The pandemic brought a lot of challenges in our lives, especially to our kids who had a sudden shift from face-to-face -to, -face to online learning. But I would like to thank God for the guidance, wisdom, and unexpected opportunity He had given us despite of the problems and challenges brought by the pandemic. I would like to thank God for the provision in my family and as well as the provision to Good Tree International School. Personally, I would like to say thank you to the school administrators for establishing this amazing school. Thank you for giving variety of experiences and learning opportunity. Thank you for all the pastors who instill Christian values to these young students. Thank you to all the hardworking teachers who made online class possible. Thank you, Mam Pao, Grade 3 advisor, 
And to all grade 3 subject teachers, Ma'am Ann, Sir Leo, Ma'am Lizelle, Ma'am Chari, Ma'am Paula, and to all the teachers here. Thank you for your endless support, understanding, patience, and love towards the students. You have shown flexibility to easily adapt in this new normal setting. Thank you also for all the parents who are here for supporting and providing more than enough for your kids. As a parent, it is really challenging, but we made it. Thank you also to all the classmates of my child, Kristen, for making her online class memorable. Thank you for all the pastors who instill Christian values to these young students. Once again, I would like to thank our God Almighty. He gave us difficult tests, but He also gave us the courage to overcome them. He gave us doubt and red flags, but also gave us the willpower to emerge from them. I thank God for His guidance and His love. To everyone who has been a part of Good Tree International School, and a part of my child's educational journey, I wholeheartedly thank you and express my gratitude. Every drop in the ocean counts, and I would never forget those who helped my child to sail through troubled waters, for they deserve a part of this reward. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mrs. Gamboa. Can we give her another round of applause? And now we will watch a video presentation about the Good Tree International School's 2022 online class highlights.
the kids really enjoyed the video and also because of that video you were able to recall the memories that you had during this school year 2021-2022. Am I right kids? Are you still here? Yes? Ah, all right. Wow, I like the energy. Are you still here? One more. Okay. <laughs> all right. Please all sit now, kids. Please all sit. All right. Okay, this time, since we are about to end the program, may I call Reverend David Jung for the closing remarks to be followed by one of our school pastor, Reverend Christian Madonsa, for our closing prayer. Hello. What a great day we made, especially we made this end of school year. I really give my best and greatest gratitude to our God. Because uh, when I think about the first year of our pandemic, COVID-19, you were so confused what to do, how to start. Even Department, Educa Department of Education did not give us the clear information and we were so uh, struggled during that time. But uh, now, the second year of COVID-19, we already made it uh, graciously and also school is uh, still healthy and I'm very happy to see you with your healthy body. Some of the, our students, they grow up so much. I could not recognize them. Also, some of the, our parents became more beautiful or more healthy and became bigger. <laughs> yeah, thank you uh, also for the hard work of our parents, for supporting your children and this uh, good three international school. And also, Thank you, our students, pupils, you keeping your absolute best in your virtual classroom. I would like to appreciate all our teachers, you overcoming all the stress in teaching during this pandemic. You made a great job. Parents, maybe you did not know how much the teachers experienced the pressure. Uh -huh. Some of the teachers, they want to give up the middle of school year because of the stress, pressure. Even some teacher gave up. So it was a very hard time for me as a director and administrator of school and I really also would like to appreciate our uh, hardworking and faithful uh, head teacher mom Casey yeah without her effort and sacrifice maybe I had a more uh, stress and had difficult time all of you teachers you did uh, you did a good job Thank you also for our special speaker today, Mom Karen. You accepted our invitation and gave very inspirational message. Mm -hmm. Thank you also, Mama Rachel. Today, you gave us some special Thanksgiving message for us. Thank you, everyone, for showing your love and effort in Gotri International School. Even though we are struggle, the school is growing and then make more healthy. And then as you see, the school uh, playground is uh, bigger and our students will enjoy more next school year. We are expecting the oncoming new school year, uh, we will be more 
free and enjoy uh, school year. Thank you again, all of you. God bless you. See you next school year. Okay, may I request everyone to stand and let us close this uh, event by giving glory and praises to the Lord. We will pray. Okay, kids? Hello? Kids, we will pray. May I invite everyone to stand? Okay, please bow your head. Close your mouth, please. We will pray. Okay, let us pray. Father in heaven, we are thankful on this great day that you have allowed us to hold such a gathering despite the pandemic we are experiencing. Thank you for your provision and protection for each of us and we are safe and healthy although some of us have experienced illness caused by this pandemic. We also thank you ev we also thank everyone who helped make this great day happen to our ever supporting parents patient and loving teachers and to our dear Guthrie International School we know that this is not the end but a new beginning of our journey of discovering the knowledge you want everyone to learn you continue to shape these little minds so that they may fulfill your will and glorify your name through their lives. Thank you, Lord, for the message you have given us today through our speaker. Lord, for encouraging us to become the best version of us. Lastly, we return to you the highest praise, honor, and glory for your untiring love for us. Now, may the grace of Jesus Christ, love of God, our Father in heaven, and communion of Holy Spirit be with you, your family, and Good Tree International School forever and ever. Amen. Amen. God bless you. And now to end this remarkable program, let's have our recessional. Once again, I am Miss Noelin Solano. And I am Miss Anne Lozada, signing off as your MCs for today. Congratulations and God bless us all.